not so afraid to let go uh, You decide if you're ever gonna let me know yeah. First before we begin the video, please hit that like button and comment down below any tutorial ideas you have Also if you're new, uh, hit subscribe, we just hit 800 subscribers, I'll do a separate video on that, that's so cool And uh, yeah, if you're alive, there's a chance that you've heard of Jaden Smith He does some interesting tweets and he has released a new album All the cover work for this album, uh, the colour grading in the videos Everything has this really cool effect where there's a pink sky and the other colours are muted So I thought I would show you how to do this in Photoshop and I did record this intro before but I lost the footage so I'm recording it again. Yeah all you're going to need for this is a photo with preferably sky in it and also to have Photoshop so yeah so I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and let's jump into Photoshop. Okay so now we are in Photoshop and this is the original image and this is what we're going to be creating with the pink sky, the faded, uh, the muted other tones and everything. Let's Right, let's just get into it. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, mute this and like, put it under there so we're not using it. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is grab a curves layer and mess around with your image. What I'm going to do with this image is I'm just going to bring some of the shadows down, then bring some of the highlights up, mess around until it looks to like the look of it. Okay, so I've messed around until I've kind of figured out what I like for the image. Uh, it's kind of just correcting the image to make it look nicer. Anyway, the second bit is we're going to want to add a hue and saturation layer. And then click on the sky, it should hopefully come up with blue. Yeah, well it should come up with blue, if it comes up with anything else then you might want to get a clearer photo, I don't know. But what you're going to want to do, click the sky, it should say blues or cyans or something like that. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to increase the saturation quite a bit. As you can see, that's made it a bit more blue. And then you're going to want to drag this all the way over here until it is pink. And now you can see the sky is pink like we want, but the person here, the subject and some other bits are pink as well, which we don't really want. How we're going to get rid of that is with, I mean, you can mask it. You should probably, you should probably mask it, but I am lazy, so I'm just going to uh, use the eraser tool. And what's cool about adjustment layers you can, is you can literally just erase bits you don't want, and it's going to take a bit of a while, especially if you're masking it. But I'm just going to go over it. It doesn't really matter too much to me. It's better if you put your hardness to like less, so it doesn't make so like. If you go a bit off, it doesn't really matter too much. Going around the glasses, there we go. Until you get all the bits that you don't want to be pink, I'm just going to continue for a bit. These bits are fine, this handlebar and everything, I do not want to be pink. So I'm just going to go over that. Yeah, so that looks fine. And now we're going to want to go back into the hue and saturation layer, double tap on it, and now we're going to want to go to the greens. The greens, we're going to decrease the saturation a bit because that's what Jaden Smith does in the uh, color for Sire, as you can see. You can see trees in this, but they're muted uh, tones, so you're going to want to mute the tones a bit by lowering the saturation. And then you might also want to do that a bit with the reds, but not too much, or increase the reds. It's your like decision in the end. Final step you're going to want to take is we're going to want to give it that faded look, the, the vintage fade. And how we're going to do that is we're going to add a levels adjustment. We're going to come down to this bit here and move this up to a place we want. And as you can see, the black point is now lighter, and uh, that's not really the effect we want. What we want is... Uh, sort of a fade. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this uh, mid-tones uh, node here and we're going to drag it up which is going to make it darker and then we can drag this up a bit which fades it and then darker into the fade. Uh, you just got to mess around with it really until you get what you want and I'm just going to leave it at that for now as you can see it just makes it a lot fa more faded and then if you want in the end you can add a bit more contrast and it will get rid of some of the fade but not all of it hopefully. And yeah, that is how you make your photos look like Sire. Thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. As I said at the beginning of the video, we are just hit 800 subscribers, and let's make the trip to 900 quicker than the trip to 800. Please hit subscribe, it'd be, I really appreciate it, and... Okay, enough self-promo, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Safe. You said so.
on top of one, two. But a cat calls you nice, do